Hi everyone, Vaughn Marie here. Welcome back to my channel. So we are going to make some Valentine cards today using reverse confetti, love bugs, and then I have some dies here. I only use one of those dies. Um, I'm just going to stamp and emboss these. Um, um, I'm just going to stamp and emboss these images and I'm using Versafine Clair Nocturne Ink with some Hero Arts Clair Embossing Powder. This is my new powder tool from Tailored Expressions. I think it works really good. I like the shape of it. So, and this is Arteza cold press paper. So it takes me a little bit to stamp these because it's a um, rough um, paper it's not smooth and so I'm just gonna stamp these um, emboss them and then I will be coloring them with my um, Arteza markers water brush markers it had been so long since I used those markers and I had so much fun using them I need to use them more often don't I say that a lot? I need to use a lot of things more often. So Valentine's Day, Galentine's Day has come almost here. Um, so I was um, excited. I already got some flowers for my husband. Um, he, um, I showed a picture of some flowers I seen at the grocery store and then he went and got them for me. <laughs> which was sweet so um and then we we already exchanged gifts because i already got my um platinum six and then um he also got me like a hershey's rose so very sweet i love valentine's day valentine's day is also my mom's birthday so this is her first birthday in heaven which is has been difficult for me but I just hope, you know, she's happy and I'm just trying to be happy for her. Um, you know, ha happy with my family. I'm hoping she watches. Um, so I'm just coloring these cute little bugs. They're so cute. I made two cards for my kids, one for my daughter, one for my son. So I did a, like a pinkish, um, like a girly one and then more bluish for my son. Um, but I want to use them again. I think they're so cute. I don't, I don't care that they have hearts. Hearts are for every day. So, um, also, um, I'm not sure when I'm uploading this video, but my giveaway ends on the 13th. So make sure you enter if you haven't yet on Instagram, Von Marie Design. So let me see. So I, I did um, some light colors. I think I wish I would have did more purple. I love the purple. And I think I only did one. I think just the bu uh, the butterfly is purple. But really, really cute. Um, hopefully you finished all your Valentine crafting. Um, I did not, but... That's how I've been with every holiday. I can only do what I can. <laughs> you too. So that is them. I'm going to use the coordinating die cuts and use my spell binders. I love my new spell binders. And those glitter plates. I love them. I'm going to have to get more. <laughs> Oh, and it was really easy to line them up. Do you notice like some dies aren't so easy to line up? And then when I cut them out, it's like, looks like they look a little funny. Well, these ones were easy and I was, I loved them. <laughs> I don't know if that happens to you. So I'm just going to ink blend some white cardstock using um, Catherine Puller inks. I use um, Flame. Um... I forgot what colors, but I'll have them listed down below. Um, this red was really messy. That's why I have a wipe to the corner there. 
I got it all over my hands. Um, but anyways, I'm just going to ink blend so that I can use the heart die to that circle die. And then um, put um, two colored combo I wanted of the hearts. I think there's like 13 hearts. And then um, so I can do one for my son and one for my daughter in colors to match the butterfly images. <clears throat> almost done <laughs> and I'm just using um, some tailored expressions um, brushes and Simon's a stamp and I think okay so those are the hearts there I love how they came out and then that is the sentiment bugs and kisses and I'm just gonna, I love how it has a circle die cut for you. I, it would be good to do a shaker card too. So doodle bug paper, let me stamp the sentiment. I was glad it, I didn't mess up. <laughs> so cut it out with the rectangle die from uh, Spellbinders and I will have everything listed. So adding with liquid glue, this design is so easy too with this die cut. Like I finished these cards pretty fast, I thought. And it's cute. I'll have to use it again. There's actually a um, reverse confetti challenge, shop your stash. so. Maybe I will try and enter that challenge before it ends. I think, um, I think still two weeks for that challenge. Do you like to enter challenges? I think they're fun and sometimes they help with sketches or color schemes or, um, like I did a Christmas card so that helped me make my first Christmas card for a challenge. So I added that with foam tape. I'm going to add some of my bugs um, with foam tape too, and then some with liquid glue. But it's pretty simple, pretty simple these cards. I love simple cards, simple but cute. And here are my my card bases are to the left um, using Nina Solar White 110 cardstock. It scared me. I thought I was um, running low on card bases, but I found another pack. So, yay. <laughs> I do not like to run out of stuff like glue or anything like that. So those panels are pretty much done. Oh no, I'm still still doing the one for my daughter. <laughs> um, let me see. Let me see what else I can tell you. It was a nice day today. Um, in the seventies, it was like I don't know when I checked. It was like seventy-seven, and I was like, "Wow, that's really warm." So my kids had fun going outside and playing. Um, so I'm excited. It's getting warmer. And, and I will be sending some sunshine warmth to everyone who's dealing with the snow. I really hate to be cold. <laughs> So pretty, pretty, um, I love the colors I used for the, with the Arteza markers. Like I said, I'll have to use those again. And they worked good with the cold pressed paper. I still have to make two more Valentine cards, one for my mom and one for my husband. 
So those panels are done. I just add some doodle bug enamel hearts and that is it. I hope you like them. Thanks for stopping by and subscribing.